Alrighty, so I've made it out here to Columbia Forest today with the man Sam. I nearly just fell off my bike then. <laughs> so I think the plan is to hit Wallen Froglet as the warm up. Probably do a resurrection at some point and see if we got time to do stupidly happy. So yeah, those trails are pretty steep, so it should be a fun time. So we're about to drop into Sprangle Drongo out here at Core Noobs. This one leads you into Wallen Froglet and Starts off with a nice bit of downhill, and then into a little bit of climbing before Wallen Froglet. I'll try to boost this as quick as we can. It's pretty chunky in spots, so gotta watch out for that. Take the high line here. That was clean. Loose. Try to stay pretty close behind Sam for the follow cam. Oh, nice line! Whoever said Cornubia sucks is lying to you. This is actually pretty funny. Eh? If you like Narang, you'd probably like Cornubia, so get out here and give it a go. Good fun. Nice high line into this berm. Pretty fun. Go around the little dam thingy here, or little pond. Oh, that's completely dry at the moment. Usually there's water in that. But we're in a bit of a bit of a drought at the moment, so absolutely bone dry. I think we're pretty much at the top here. Oh, nice. Oh, I think they built that up. I think I saw on the community page they were doing something. I didn't know it was Ball and Fog with oh, Yeah, apparently they put in a bunch of berms and I oh, fixed up a bunch of berms and jumps and all that. Hopefully they didn't like green trail it. <laughs> no. It was awesome how it was before. No, I think they, usually they leave most of the stuff how it is here. But I think usually they just fix up the sections that already are man-made most of the time. Yeah, right. That's, I think that's like the, their main thing at Cornubia is keeping most of it sort of natural. hand dug. Because it just means the trails require a lot less maintenance and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's it. Here we go, warm froglet out here at Cornubia. Freshly maintenanced, I believe. Oh. So they fixed up a bunch of stuff along here. Take the high line. So fun. Raw, natural style mountain biking. Bunch of rocks and roots. So fun. Tight corners as well. This is going to be 
probably my favorite track out here at Cornubia, I reckon. While I'm frogging it. Sort of traverses along the edge in spots. I should have done that little highlight on the right hand side. I didn't really realize it was coming up. Boy, am I glad I'm starting to get pretty used to riding clip pedals, especially going on this trail. <laughs> Wouldn't want to fall over to the left over that edge and not be able to unclip. You just slide down the whole thing. Pretty steep mountain, this one. I believe it's back into the downhill here. So we'll get some speed up. Good fun this trail. Through the trees here. Oh, that part's always hard. Got to remember that it's coming up because you'll be in a big gear going downhill and then that little pinch technical bit comes up and you just haven't got the leverage to be able to get up it. Get the A line coming up here. We go left. That's the B line. And we'll go down the A line now. It's just a, some pretty chunky rocks. Nothing too crazy. B line joins back up just there. Then we keep shredding down. This last little bit is my favourite. There is a super fast bit up here somewhere and um, there's a couple of drops and all that so yeah awesome awesome fun we did a bit of rock armoring there must have been some water runoff or something happening and a bit of erosion or something so they put some rocks there Oh, my bar ends straight to the tree just then. Oh, so fun. They changed that section a bit. It used to just be like three drops, but it's sort of weird now. All right, on this last little bit here. Do they change they change that last bit with the three drops, eh? Yeah. Sam's making a mini dust storm for me there. Oh you crossed the main road once. That was cool. Never actually manualed in between those. My bar end just scraped the tree again, that's the second time in one day. So I manualed in between them logs. This part's pretty tight. You can keep some good speed along here, but. Throw so some weave in between the trees. Dodge, get, duck, dive, and dodge. The five Ds of dodge ball. Everyone's favourite part of the bird wing climb. Woo! Sneak little G out. Man, that G out's so fun, eh? I always bunny hop into it. Yeah, oath, man. Anytime you see stuff that you can pump, try bunny hopping into it. Because you get like that extra momentum when you land and you pump into it. It's also just more fun as well. Cause you try to bunny hop and like perfectly land your wheels in the transition. 
Stupidly happy. I'm trying to hear it's called Ubia. This one's a super fun trail. Super steep bit where it goes, drops into this creek bed. And yeah, that's shit's gnarly. Yeah, Sam. Oh, I did it. Pretty pedally trail at the start. What the hell is that high line there? I wonder if anyone's actually ridden that high line. Up in the tree. Yeah. True. It was right beside me. Right Hope it doesn't drop bear on me. <laughs> Woo! Got a little bit of a technical bit coming up here. That was cool. Love them sections that make you think a little bit. If there was an inside line or an outside line. Uh, obviously I took the outside line and I think that was the better option. All right. Nubia is awesome man. Love these trails. This is one of my locals actually. It's about a 10 minute drive from home. And so is Mount Cotton. So I've got the flowies and the chunkies right at the doorstep. Oh this part's pretty fast. So fun. I think we're coming up to the A-line here somewhere. This is the part where it drops down into this steep creek bed. I think um, Sam might have seen another goal Anna then, as he was falling out. He was saying another one, so I'm guessing it was another goal Anna. All good? Up to you, yeah. Go into the A line, take the wide line. Sam the rocket man coming into the techie A line here on Stupidly Happy. Yes, Sam. Um, a little tight technical corner coming up here. Then down into this steep gully. Down into the creek bed. Here comes Sam coming into the last little bit. Stupidly happy. Steep line. Yes, son. That's like a little dodge'em. Play a game of limbo on stupidly happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all right. Nah. Oh, that bit was fast. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah. Nice. Poor Nubia. That pretty much brings a wrap to the day. Uh, yeah, I love the trails out here. Extremely fun. Not quite as fast and flowy as your normal trails, but a little bit chunky and I feel like that just makes a ride a lot more interesting when you're having to negotiate obstacles like that. Heaps more fun than just riding the dirt footpaths that is the rest of Brisbane.
mind you, I still love flow trails, but something about getting away from them and getting back into the chunk. Super appealing to me. Yeah, thanks for stopping by to watch the video, everyone. It was a great day out here at Cornubia. Yeah, it was good fun getting back into the chunky stuff, as I haven't really done much of that recently, besides from Mount Joyce. Um, but yeah, once again, if you enjoyed the content, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the weekly content, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day.